Hi from the Way Cool Cooking School Kitchen. My name is Chef Mary and we are super, super delighted to bring you this wonderful Mexican Fiesta dinner kit this week. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make homemade sweet corn tamales. Now there are a lot of different ways to make tamales. Some of them have filling, some of them do not. Some of them use pureed corn, some of them use frozen corn. This particular sweet corn tamale I think is a great recipe because it uses both cream corn and corn kernels. So you get the best of both creamy, awesome sweet flavors and the regular corn kernel flavors while you're making these tamales. Um, it also is basically two bowl system. So we're gonna create um, our tamale mixture here and we're gonna cream some butter and sugar. We're gonna put them together and then we're gonna show you how to roll up these tamales. Tamales in general are a very, very special thing because they're typically made by the women of a family during the holiday season. And I know that we have just recently celebrated um, both Halloween and Dias de Muertes, um, but especially these are served at like Thanksgiving and Christmas time when all the women get together and make a bunch of tamales for everyone to eat over the holiday season. So this is a perfect recipe to add to maybe something fun that you can make with your family over the holidays this year as well. Well, speaking of that, let's just get started. Okay. I've got everything here from my kit that I need pre-measured, ready to go. I've got my one cup of cream corn, my one cup of corn kernels, which is not quite half of one of those cans. I've got my pre-measured bag of baking powder, a cup and a quarter of my corn masa, ready to go, a teaspoon of salt from our own kitchen, which means you get to grab a teaspoon of salt from your own kitchen. And then our pouch of sugar that is gonna be used for multiple things in this kit. And so we wanna make sure that we measure that out. We just need a quarter cup of the sugar from the bag, not the whole pouch of sugar. That is a lot of sugar. And this sugar is for both this recipe and for the churros that also came with this kit. So using that in two different places. We got a half a stick of butter. And so now it's time to put all of these things together. Other things that you're gonna to wanna to grab from your kitchen is a big ball of tin foil, and that's gonna help us get our pot ready. And then you also wanna prep your tamale pot. And so what we've got is I've got a big stock pot, and in that stock pot is about an inch of water, and inside of there with a the lid is one of those straining baskets that you use when you make spaghetti. And so we're actually gonna use our strainer basket for our steamer to steam our tamales today. And so I've got all of this ready to go too. So when we're ready to cook our tamales, that's ready to go. That's where this ball of foil comes into play. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. So prepped, ready to rock, and now it's time to cook. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take and we're gonna add our corn masa into our first big bowl with our baking powder. And the baking powder is what kind of causes it to swell and puff when it's steaming and give it that great texture of the tamale. And so what I'm gonna do for this is I'm just gonna grab a whisk and I'm gonna stir these two ingredients together so they're mixed really, really well. And then I'm going to come in and we're gonna add in our corn at this time. So for this, I'm gonna grab my trusty wooden spoon. Love the wooden spoon. It's such a cool tool and is so useful. And we're gonna add the corn kernels in and I'm adding this in the center and what we call a well method because it's gonna allow me to incorporate the two ingredients as kind of evenly as possible instead of just kind of dumping it in all on the side of each other. So I've got that in and I'm just gonna take and I'm gonna stir from the center and I'm gonna work that corn into that masa mixture. And that's it for bowl number one. We're gonna take and we're gonna get this. And when you do this, it's really a unique texture. It's not a liquidy batter by any means. It's really thick and kind of bloppy. And so you're, it's okay if it looks like that because mine does too. Now, somehow we have to figure out how to trick all of this butter and sugar and salt into this mixture as evenly as all of that came together. And that's why we're gonna use two big bowls today. So my second big bowl, I've grabbed my spatula and that's gonna help with this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cream the butter, sugar, and salt together before we incorporate it back into our corn mixture, or I should say our corn mixture into our butter mixture. So this butter has been softened. It spreads like frosting on the bottom of that bowl. We're gonna add our sugar in. If your butter is not that soft, you can trick it and zap it in the microwave for like eight seconds and that'll help soften it up without melting it. We do not wanna melt the butter. I know that some tamale recipes call for melted butter, but I really like to not separate the different parts of inside the butter stick. 
And so we're gonna make sure that we keep that softened but not melted. And then this is gonna come together kind of, well, it looks a lot like instant mashed potatoes or a lot like vanilla ice cream in there. Okay, now to make sure that these two things come together evenly, I'm gonna spread out that butter, sugar, and salt mixture that has been creamed on the bottom of this. And I'm gonna start by just blopping one mound of the tamale mixture. And I'm gonna start folding that in to that butter and sugar mixture. And when those two are kind of mixed in together, I'm gonna to take and I'm gonna add in the next scoop. And I'm gonna to continue to do this until all of the batter is mixed in with that butter and sugar so that we know that we're getting the same amounts of butter and sugar into each of the tamales that we're making today. All right, so I'm doing it and just about looks like we can get it done in thirds. So I've got thirds there, I've got that in there. All right, at this stage, if you haven't already done so, and the other part about prepping the tamales is we wanna make sure that our corn husks have been soaking in some warm water. So if you haven't done that already, take the corn husks and just soak them in a bowl of warm water and that makes them soft and pliable so they're easy to wrap and make the tamales with. All right, this is done. The other thing I'm gonna do at this time, because all we have to do now is fill them, secure them, and then stick them in the steamer for about a half an hour, is we're gonna take and we're gonna turn our burner on. And so I've got my stock pot ready to go here. I'm gonna turn that on medium, medium high heat on a gas stove, on an electric stove, you're probably, if it's one to 10, I would put it on like six or seven. We don't want the water to boil necessarily. We just want it to continually make steam. And we gotta check on it every once in a while too, because what happens with water is it evaporates. And at some point we might have to add a little bit more water to that mixture so that they continue to steam. Okay, time to wrap up some tamales. I would check out, there's tons of cool different videos and things like that. I, this is just one way I've learned how to make tamales. And so if you try this way and it's not your most favorite way, remember, cooking is all about experimenting and trying new ways and new skills to do things. The more you practice and the more ways you learn how to do something, I really think the better you become a home cook in your kitchen. And so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take one of these nice big tamale wrappers here and I'm gonna show you. It's nice and soft, it's wet, but it's not dripping. So you gotta shake off the extra. The other thing is I'm gonna take one of these small skinny ones I'm gonna take, and this is what I'm gonna cut into strips, and this is what I'm gonna use as my ties. Ties are optional. You do not need to tie them. They are gonna stay upright in this pot if you have a strainer pot like we have. Um, but I'm gonna take and I'm just cutting little strips. You can also do this with metal twist ties, which are probably the most secure and easy way to do this. If you've got that drawer in your kitchen like I do that has all your extra twist ties in there, you can use that for this project too. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take and we're going to grab about two to th maybe two heaping tablespoons here. As you can see, I just grabbed it with my hand and I'm gonna set that right in the middle. And then what I like to do is I kind of roll it back and forth to get it to be that nice little round shape. Now these are not mega tamales. These are kind of considered like small to medium tamales because these are gonna be the side dish for our enchilada and churro dinner tonight. So we don't wanna fill up on tamales. It's very easy because they are very, very delicious. So I've got my two tablespoons and there, I rolled it back and forth so it's nice and round. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and I'm gonna fold up the bottom over the top of this, the left side, and then I just kind of roll it right up and this is where it's kind of nice if you're cooking with somebody in the kitchen that you have your buddy because your buddy can hold the tamale while you tie off the top here. And again, it's just a nice little, little knot and then I've got one tamale done. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna tie up the rest of the tamales here and get them ready to go and then I'm gonna show you how to put them into your stock pot so that they can steam and we're gonna use that tinfoil ball we talked about. Okay, we've got all of our little tamale babies wrapped up, ready to go, and now we are going to steam them. So, I've had this on the stove, but I've got a heat safe countertop right here, and so I just moved it off the stove so you guys can see what we're about to do next as far as layering in our tamales inside of here. So, I'm gonna take the lid off here. Woo! You can see I already got a steamer going. And I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna take my tin foil ball, and I'm just gonna set it right in the middle of the bottom of that pan, and then here's what I'm gonna do. We want these to stand as upright as possible in here. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna layer them so they lean up against that tin foil. So the steam creates and goes up 
through the tamales. And so I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna kind of start to put them in kind of like a clack. So I'm putting them in at 12 and six, and then also at three and nine. And then I'm gonna go back in with the rest of my tamales and fill in around so that they lean in. Now I got about 12 little tamales out of here. This recipe will easily make, um, it'll easily make eight medium sized tamales or like I said, 12 here. The other thing that you can't see in here and it's too hot for my fingers to touch is I took some of our extra corn husks and in the kit you'll see in the directions, it has you laying some corn husks in the bottom of the pan and lining it. And we do that prior to putting the tamales and the tin foil in. Um, that's just a little warm right now. So we're not gonna take that out. And I've got my last little tamales to go in here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and we're gonna put the lid back on, create that wonderful steamer action. We're gonna put it on our burner on medium heat and we are going to let that go for about 20 minutes. It takes about 30 minutes for the tamales to get cooked, especially if they're medium to small ones. It may take longer if you decide to make giant tamales. Um, and what you're gonna do is after about 20 to 30 minutes, you're gonna take one of the tamales out using a tongs or a pot holder. Do not stick your fingers in there. It is gonna be steamy hot. Um, and then you let it sit for three minutes. Now, you gotta let it sit for three minutes because it's gotta cool down so it can kind of congeal and set up a little bit and chill before you can even test it. While you're waiting for those three minutes, keep the other ones in the pot with the lid on. Let them keep cooking. Um, it's, you don't wanna overcook the tamales, but it's really, really hard at that first stage to overcook them, so don't worry about overcooking the rest of them while you test your one tamale. If after three minutes, the peel, the corn husk, easily falls and unwraps from that tamale, then, and you are gonna know that those are done, and then you can remove the rest of them from the steam and do that. So we're gonna let our tamales go for about 20 minutes, and then I'm gonna show you that process here in just a little bit. Well, we are ready to just find out if our tamale is ready to eat or not. And so at 30 minutes, at 20 minutes I checked, they were not done. At 30 minutes, I checked, I pulled one out. I let it sit here for exactly three minutes, set my timer. And now we're gonna take by peeling this off and look at that, the corn husk comes right away from it, the tamale. It does not stick at all. And I've got a little tamale here. Ooh, it's still a little warm, but super, super delicious. These are ready to go. Um, this is such a yummy, yummy, sweet, delicious treat that actually can go sweet or savory. You can serve them with hot sauce, you can serve them with chocolate sauce, but it's a really, really fun cooking project and something that we hope that you add to your kitchen and family recipes. Thank you so much from all of us here at the Way Cool Cooking School and bon appetit.